there are still so many things to do over on Rancho Del Arroyo. Everything from the Diamond Jackrabbit to an eventual second Great One grind to plans for a rare Javelina hunt. There's a lot of stuff that I'd like to do, but one thing that's been really nice is just the last couple of days kind of getting off that map and enjoying some of the more recent changes. And a big one is the fact that geese are now fixed. So for a long time, essentially they weren't respawning correctly. And it's been so long since our last goose hunt, I'm not even sure which update kind of caused that, but that has been fixed. And I'm really looking forward to sitting out here in a blind or tripod for a while and continuing on with our hunt for the couple of rare geese that we're missing. And I'd say this is pretty decent evidence of the geese working properly. Two flocks coming in right away. There is a level four in there. I don't see anything huge in this first flock. There is a rare one somewhere. I don't know where it got to. It's just a female. Is it the first one? I don't know. Well, I have the 16 gauge. I'm curious to see how it's going to do when it fires. Because we know it's pretty good on the pheasants. That was the one right there. Actually, I kind of thought that my opinion would remain that the 10 gauge is the best goose shotgun. Geese obviously fly in pretty big flocks, and one major advantage the 16 gauge has over the 10 gauge is the capacity, and it seemed to bring them down just about as well. Now in that case, we did have a lot of them really close, so that definitely helped things, but even the... I think it's a gray one, I'm not sure exactly what rare type it was. It was not exactly a close shot. 50 meters? Lungs definitely would have helped bring it down quickly, but it did really well. Like, I'm not super sure the 10 gauge would be even that consistent. This one would have dropped pretty quickly too at 51 meters. We'll have to kind of test that more. I thought a couple of flocks of geese and we'd be going back to the 10 gauge, but I'm not so sure I'm not gonna grab a second 16 gauge and run with that. Now the normal procedure when we do goose hunting videos is kind of to only include flocks that have either a big one or a rare one in it, just to kind of keep things interesting because if we kept every flock in, over a 45 minute hunt, we'd probably make like a 30 minute video. So usually, maybe like the next flock would have been cut out for the last one, but we have back to back flocks with a rare one in it anyway. And I really want to try the 16 gauge again. If it does as well, I'm probably just going to grab two and go with that for the remainder of the hunt, but it's going to take a little while to get them down here, I'm guessing. They are being pretty cooperative. I once again, I'm not sure where the rare is. I think it's in the very back. Oh, uh, well. Might be a good thing as far as getting the rare with the 16 gauge, because I definitely did not remember to reload it. We hit the rare. We're doing okay, but they're not dropping as fast. It definitely depends on exactly the shot placement. That might be where the 10 gauge kind of shines. That is the brown hybrid. It's going down, so we'll let it go, just to officially, I guess, take it with the 16 gauge. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I really have been trying to determine like the best way of hunting geese just to get as much cash as possible. There's been a ton of questions lately, just what is the best way to earn cash? And since geese have been broken for a while, our response has generally been go and hunt fallow deer on Te Awaroa, but with it fixed, I think we might actually hit 10 million cash today. We'll have to see, it depends on how long we do this. But the 22 is definitely one of the better methods, just even without a shotgun. I'm pretty sure that's some kind of rare again, and this is, it's not a bad problem, but an issue I've kind of had when goose hunting so far, they keep on flying over before I can even get back to the blind. Got the big four that was there actually. I don't even know that I've spotted everything in here, but at least we got those. We'll see what's maybe left in this flock. I think it's just that, oh, there's one there that we didn't see. Yeah, just that one male, so let's try to get him there. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the brown hybrid. It was a level one. And somewhere right up here is what I think might have been a gray. I mean, it's harder to get back to the blind than to actually shoot the keys at this point. Got that big four again. And again, it's been every single flock has actually been decent. And that was not my experience earlier. I've probably spent close to an hour and a half just shooting geese and pretty much trying to get respawns and seeing what I could see out here. It was generally flocks of like one, twos, and threes with the occasional four. Thus far, we've had a couple of big fours, I think three rares or uncommons now. It's just been very, very consistent. That was a three, and so was that. I don't even know what's what at this point. I think that is 
Actually, another brown hybrid. That would have been the one that we shot originally there. So this will be one of the two highest mid fours, just a 7.7. .7. And then I have to think this is the other one. Again, I don't even know what's laying out in this field at this point. That's a three. I didn't see a second big four get picked up, so maybe that was out this way. I don't know if this is it, but one thing that's kind of cool is now that you don't crash when you have the dog like track a bird or something, they can actually help you and that will be the one. So Rocky helped us out there. We might be able to get into this layout blind real quick. We'll kind of see if there's any good ones in here. There's been a good one in every other flock and yet yeah, it's a brown hybrid again, I think. I don't know the minimum score, but two to four estimate, that might be one. I didn't really plan on shooting them on the ground, but for the sake of pretty much using the full capacity of the 16 gauge, we might as well. Where even are the other ones? I guess they got over our head. I mean, it does well. Maybe that's what we'll do. That's just a female. Is there any males left in here? I want to check that and just get them with a 22 if we can. If it's all females, we'll let them go. That's a male. Just maybe a higher chance of a rare respawn being a male. If we could hit it. Pretty sure we should be able to, but I'm not... I don't know if it's the range or what I'm doing wrong, but that one might get away. We couldn't even get out of the blind to go and claim the first, and there's another male rare or uncommon. I think that is actually the gray plumage type this time. If we could get this to fire, we'd be a lot better off. At least we got it. That's another male. Not as good that time as the other times, although definitely would have helped, I think, with the kind of rhythm we would have had going if we hit the first shot. Getting most of the males. I think it's the lighting, but I'm going to kill that one too, just in case. It looked a little bit different. So hopefully, enough of a break to run around and claim stuff. Again, it's to the point where I don't know what is where, but eventually we'll get everything picked up and we'll see what we got. The level 3 that we shot, which I think is one of these two, it had the high weight estimate but a low score estimate, but it's definitely what it had a chance of being a gold, which is kind of everything I want out of the rare geese. That is a gray. Silver at 6.7. I'm almost certain we'll look, but I'm pretty sure 6.8 is gold. And it is, so almost adds something special. Although, we have a pretty big gray goose already, so if there were to be a gold rare, I'd actually rather it be one of the types that we don't have. Those being Baldusistic and Melanistic, by the way. Then one of these over here is going to be our level 1 brown hybrid. Which, if it's a minimum score 1 or anywhere near that, maybe even regardless, 3.9 and 4.00 kg. Makes me wonder if it is minimum. I think that is at the very least a Hall of Shamer, so we'll tax that to put over there. I don't think we've ever done a goose in that lodge. At least this time we got both 16 gauges because yet again we have a brown hybrid goose in this flock and I really want to see how they do and this is kind of with the bit of a handicap with the fact that they don't always fire. Once that's fixed we're definitely gonna have to revisit this and see if it is the best goose shotgun but gonna let it get good and close and of course we didn't fire so uh shooting yet another one on the ground but we saw before the range didn't hurt the 16 gauge that bad. And we're kind of firing far there to begin with. Both didn't fire. That's unfortunate. It definitely doesn't happen every time. But, uh, could have sped up the process a little bit. By the way, that is the brown hybrid. And all the kind of chaos of trying to get our shots off, I sort of forgot to shoot the correct one. We have seen in the past, by the way, a shotgun shot will not always kill a goose. They can end up flying off and surviving it. So, good to kind of spot around and make sure that any that we hit are going to be taken down with the 22 interesting pose to shoot that one in but yet yeah, the 16 gauge did really good again and when we're being cast a little bit of time and potentially distance on every time it doesn't fire just that's that much more effective it's going to be when it's fixed i think at least this is our female one brown hybrid yet again so minus the one level three gray they've all been brown hybrids and of course brown hybrid is the most common of the different variations so it's to be expected I decided to try exiting to the desktop just to see if we maybe got better respawns and there are two really big fours in here. Got that one. That is the other. We killed the one right close to us and we also hit the four back there but two shots is okay. There are just so many geese around right now. I'm sure we're gonna let some males get away. 
but we got the big ones that 1 for was a 8 to 9 estimate. So 8.5 is diamond, you'll have a decent shot at actually being a big one, but throughout this video we've kind of used the 22 as our way of getting geese that are a little further away, or even ones that we've hit poorly with the shotgun, and I was kind of wondering, as I believe our bigger goose is this one at 8.2, but I was wondering if the 22 is just simply the best goose gun in the game. And in my kind of testing of that earlier before we did this hunt, I found one of the rare geese that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. I could be wrong, but I think these geese that spooked had a melanistic, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the one that we just killed. But I kind of just saw it, and then they scattered, and by the time I managed to hit record, uh, I'm not 100% sure that we killed it, but... If I'm right, it should be this one over here on the left, and I hope I'm right because I don't actually know what happens to geese like, let's say, after they fly by and get away. I believe they do stay on your map because I think they are a part of your like normal animal population file, but I can't be certain. Something is different about this one though, I'm pretty sure that is going to be what we wanted. I mean, it's a silver female. I'm pretty sure they can be bronze, so it could be smaller. Level 2 is definitely better than a level 1. And one day I do want to get a gold melanistic, and I think still a gold baldusistic. And I'm pretty sure we have all the other ones, but pretty cool to finally get one in right after they were fixed here. And going from a female melanistic to a female brown hybrid, the thing I wanted to share with the 22 is, in my opinion, it's every bit as effective close range as the shotguns, but of course it has the long range capability as well. And with the 10 round mag, and if you're using the 22 for close range, the basically time saved by not having to switch weapons, you can take down an entire flock quite easily, and I'm pretty confident we can get this level 1 as well. And we never had to actually switch guns. 11 shots, we probably would have used about as many regardless, just because we would have used the shotgun first, and then had to switch to the 22, and the geese would have been a little bit farther away. I don't know. I think. It's more of a PC thing because it is very tough to aim at birds in general on console. But I would like to kind of test it more and we're certainly going to revisit definitely the 16 gauge and probably the 22 as well at some point in the future. Carrying two 22s might not be a bad way to hunt geese and earn cash, but I believe I mentioned earlier we might get close to 10 million today. We would have to shoot quite a number more geese, but we are at 9.97 now, so we're not too far off. But I do want to go back to the Trophy Lodge and kind of finally complete our geese uh, collection of rares. Now, I still want to get a gold rare for the Balthusistic and Melanistic, but at least we now have one of all of them. I don't quite know how I've overlooked this, but our light gray Leucistic is actually a silver as well, so really I still want to get actually a gold of all three on this side. The light gray Leucistic, the Melanistic, and the Balthusistic, but at least we now have one of each. And it's one of the cool things that happens with Call of the Wild, like every time we either get a new map or a new species, things like this get added, so it can feel like we're getting to a point where we don't have that much to do. But there's still like a ton of goose hunting and plenty of other things that we're going to have to be going after as well, but I like that. It's cool to see the Melanistic up there, we'll actually zoom in with the camera, and I guess turn that off. It's a pretty cool little, it's not a multi-mount, but a display of all the different variations. There's, I guess, five plumage types and one common diamond. If we could ever get any of them being like a second diamond, that would be really cool as well, but glad to finally add a Melanistic to that collection, and it was great to get back on the geese grind and continue our search, so looking forward to doing that more in the future as well. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.